Hi, I'm attorney Dave Buckley. Gaps in treatment. Uh, gaps in treating for a personal injury uh, that you have been uh, inflicted with as a result of no fault of your own, someone else is responsible for your being injured or a loved one or a friend of yours being injured uh, through someone else's negligence. Gaps in treatment can be fatal to the value of a case. And what I mean by this is, is this. Uh, I stress this all the time. It's, it's one of the foundations of, 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 of personal injury and, and, and what I advocate to people who have been injured through no fault of their own. Once you get injured, you need to see somebody about that injury within 24 hours of being hurt. That's best case scenario. And I know sometimes you can't, um, but for the most part, getting treatment within 24 hours is instrumental because you need to relate the injury that you've suffered through someone else's negligence um, through a medical record. Your medical record is going to be uh, relied upon throughout the whole course of your personal injury case. Your medical record is vital, vital. Um, and so when you go to the emergency room, we call it the emergency department these days because it's grown so big, it's bigger than a room. But when you go to the emergency department, uh, they're evaluating you. One of the things that they're doing is making sure that you don't have an injury, a life-threatening injury. That's the main goal of uh, being seen at the emergency department. They're making sure that you don't have an injury that requires immediate surgery, immediate admission. Um, uh, and if, if you're okay, if you're okay enough, you know, they'll bandage you up, they'll stitch you up, um, and, and they'll give you crutches and splints or whatever if you need them. And, then, and they'll release you. And when they release you, they're going to say, listen, if you don't feel like you're getting better uh, within the next 48 hours, make an appointment and see your, your PCP, your personal care provider. And, um, and if you don't feel better, you should do that. You should absolutely go to your, your PCP. Again, because you are documenting that you are being treated for a medical condition related to someone else's negligence. And so you'll go to your PCP. You'll say, listen, I got injured. This is how I get injured. I'm not feeling well. Uh, and, and your PCP is going to say, okay, fine. Well, listen, we need to refer you to a specialist. You need to go to a neurologist. You need to go to an orthopedist. You need to go to an ophthalmologist. Whatever your injury is, they'll refer you to that specialist. Um, if you don't need a specialist and, and you have aches and pains that just need to be to be worked out, they will refer you to physical therapy. And you need to go to these places that these care professionals are recommending that you go to for these uh, for these types of uh, treatments, physical therapy or whatever other type of specialist care that you need. And there are times when people don't do that for whatever reason, for whatever, for the most common reason people don't follow up after they've been told to do so is because life gets in the way. If you're a parent and you got kids you're, you're taking care of, you know, it, it's hard to manage your own life around theirs. Uh, and, or if you're working or both, you know, if you made appointments to go to physical therapy, you have 10 physical therapy sessions to go to and you go to the first one and you go to the second one and it's really impacting your routine. And all of a sudden you decide, I, I, I just can't do this. I don't have the time. I just can't do this. Well, that's very, very harmful to the value of your case. Because once the medical records are received by an attorney like myself to review the file, and I see that you've been injured, you've been to the emergency department, you've been to your PCP to follow up, you were referred to a specialist or, or physical therapy, and you don't go, or you go to physical therapy one or two times out of the 10 that you've been that you've been recommended to go to and you've failed to complete that course of treatment, the value of your case and probably the viability of your case just crashes. And that case has no value, has no value. And it doesn't matter what the reason 
you know, it, it very well, it very well might be a great reason. Um, but because you stopped the care or your loved one stopped that care, the insurance company is going to say, well, how hurt could you have been? If you did not follow through with seeing the specialists, if you did not follow through with your physical therapy, how hurt could you have been? And plus you're not incurring additional expenses related to your care. And those expenses are also used to value a case. Um, you will you will cause that case to crash and burn. So if you are interested in getting better, and that should be your priority, not, not the value of your case. Getting better, you'll only, you will only have that one opportunity to attempt to get better if you are being treated for your injury in real time. Because if you don't treat, Chances are that injury is going to heal incorrectly and you walk with a limp for the rest of your life or you'll, you know, be affected in ways that you probably could have avoided had you just followed through with your care. But following through with, with your care is what gives your case value. Not following through with your case jeopardizes and, 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 and probably torpedoes the value of that case to a point where there is no case. So I always tell people you need to follow the recommendations of your care professionals. One, for your own best health, for your own, you know, self-interest, you need to follow the care guidelines of those professionals who are giving them to you. And on top of that, you need to do it so that your case remains uh, viable and valuable. So please follow the recommendations of your care professionals and your attorneys.